Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey and here on my channel we talk about personal growth, lifestyle, and personal finance. Today I am super excited because we're talking about one of my favorite things, Amazon favorites. So if you are interested in hearing what my 2020 Amazon favorites are, just keep watching. So I've broken this video up into five categories. So to start, we have stationery and books. So the first thing is the Erin Condren Petite Planners. So I know that you can get Erin Condren products on the Erin Condren website. You can also get a lot of their stuff on Amazon. And I actually got my Petite Folio from Amazon um, and they do have prime shipping, so that's super helpful. So the way this works is there are four books that you can put in here and they're held on by this elastic band. The books that are in my folio are the Monthly Planner, the Budget Book, Align Journal, and the Undated Daily Planner. So this has been my planning system for 2020 and I really liked it. Next year I'm going to move into something a little bit bigger, but this was actually perfect for 2020 because it's smaller than I would have normally liked, but it was kind of perfect because not a lot went on in 2020. So this was perfect size for all my stuff. Next we have the Papermate Inkjoy pens and these are in the 0.7. Um, this is actually my first year trying these and I don't know why it took me so long to try them because they're great and everyone's told me they're great, but I, for some reason I just never tried them out. But I've tried them out, they're great. And I'll probably get another pack, the colorful pack in 2021. Next we have um, mild liners. So I have a pack of 10 and mild liners are just highlighters. So um, I really like them. I want to get more of them for the coming year. Um, but yeah, mild liners have been one of my favorites this year. Now moving into books. The first book that I'm going to talk about is Untamed by Glennon Doyle. Um, this is probably the standout book for me for 2020. Um, I love this book and I recommend it to literally anyone. The premise of the book is that as children, a lot of women were taught to be tame. So to, you know, keep the peace, don't say anything, you know, outlandish, don't, you know, don't look crazy, make sure you look nice. All those things that are kind of like societal standards that have been placed upon women. And this book is partially about Glennon Doyle's untaming, but she also gives a lot of great tips on how you can unleash or untame yourself. So I love this book. Um, if you're a people pleaser, if you feel held back by societal standards a lot, I really recommend this. Next we have Daring Greatly. So this is by Brene Brown. Um, and this is all about vulnerability and shame. I first heard about Brene Brown through her Netflix special, um, which is great. But this kind of goes into more detail about what she talks about in the Netflix special. And she talks about how vulnerability is the birthplace of all the things that we want in life. Creativity, innovation, love, belonging, all those things and how we have to have the courage to be vulnerable in order to live fulfilled lives. So this book is really great. Um, I'm not all the way through it, but like literally anything Brene Brown I love, like her podcast is great. If you see her on, um, she did a couple Oprah shows in the past. I've watched all of those. So like literally she could write anything and I'd read it. So yeah, I recommend this book. And lastly for books is The Financial Diet um, by, so this is written by Chelsea Fagan and designed by Lauren Ver Verhaeg, sorry if I said that wrong. But The Financial Diet actually is a really popular YouTube channel that I watch all the time. I'm subscribed to them and I watch their videos literally on a weekly basis. Um, but a couple years ago, they came out with a book. Um, and I really like this book because I love personal finance. If you didn't know, I talk about a lot of personal finance stuff on my channel. Um, but a lot of the other personal finance books that I have are super specific on just personal finance. The things that I like about this book is that it kind of talks about how your finances work into your overall life. And then also just kind of like life basics and kind of adulting basics, if you could say. So the table of contents, there's seven chapters and the chapters are budget, investing, career, food, home, love, and action. So it's, and I also really like how it's designed. So um, let me find a good page to show. So it's really interestingly designed. So it's got a lot of graphics, a lot of handwritten stuff. Um, also a lot of illustrations that I love. She has a bunch of recipes in here that are just like kind of staple recipes like Manny's famous fries in here. Um, and it just is kind of like 
it does talk about finances but it's more of a holistic type of personal finance book so i really enjoyed this and this is something that a lot of my other finance books i don't go back and reference and this one i do so next we're moving into tech stuff so the first thing is kind of like a two-in-one so it's my apple pencils both the pencil itself and then this grip that i have on it um so yeah so this year i got an ipad and, a, and an apple pencil and i've been loving it for taking notes for just doodling and drawing um, i also have been doing some hand lettering um so yeah so this has been one of my favorites and i did get these both on amazon and they came in two days with no issues so recommend getting this next we have this usb-c um, hub so if you have one of the newer macs they only have these usb-c ports in their computers so if you need anything like sd cards or regular usb you have to get one of these adapters to connect to your computers so this specific one has three usb ports an sd like a regular size sd port and then a micro sd port um, it also has an hdmi at this end um, so yeah it's super basic i like it because i like that it has this string some of the other ones just like stick in on the side and um i was worried i would like hit it while it was in my computer and it would break off like the little attachment would break off so i like that it has like a little wire so the next thing i have is this power bank so this portable power bank um i've had this for a couple years it's by powerado and um i love it i Whenever I travel anywhere, I make sure that I charge this up and charge my phone. And then if I'm taking a bunch of photos or videos between my phone and this, my phone is able to last the entire day. So it's a lifesaver if you travel a lot and you use your phone a lot. So next is something that's great if you do a lot of solo travel. So this is a selfie stick and a tripod all in one. So the way it works is this is where you put your phone. So this is like has a spring on it and this is the selfie stick portion of it so it goes out way farther than this but that's how that works and then on top of it being a selfie stick it also has the push um clicker um but as well as being a selfie stick it's also a portable tripod so this is a literal lifesaver if you do a lot of solo travel but don't want to ask other people to take photos of you because you take a lot of photos because you don't like all the ones that you take. Um, so I really recommend this. And then the best, to me the best part about it is that the little clicker thing that you use for the selfie stick, it actually slides out and you can use it as like a clicker on your own. So last year I did a couple of trips. I went to Hawaii. I spent my birthday in Washington, D.C. by myself and I brought this with me and I took a bunch of pictures and people were not able to tell that I took them on my own, which was great. So yeah, love this. Super portable. It folds up to be super small. So it fit in my bag super easy and um, it's great. So next we have apparel and beauty. So the first thing I have is a top that I'll put in right here. Um, if you know me, you know I love high neck stuff like you can kind of tell right now. I like having like a turtleneck type of thing when it comes to tops and blouses. So um, I have this blouse that I actually wore in a couple videos ago um, that I really like that I got from Amazon. And I really like that top so I recommend it if you're in the market for some new blouses. Next is a scalp massager. So these are really great to use in the shower when you're washing your hair. Kind of self-explanatory but love the scalp massager. Next we have the Revlon hair drying brush. So I'm not talking about the round brush. I'm talking about the paddle brush which is more suited for african-american hair and um, more curly kinkier hair types um, so i love it it literally cuts down your hair drying time more than half and it's really easy to use if you're like me i'm not good at you know handling the like hair dryer and brush at the same time and like getting enough tension to pull out the hair but also like blow dry it I'm not good at that so this brush has really saved my life when it comes to hair drying and i really recommend it next i have a rash guard so so this summer for vacation i did like a lake trip with my family um and i really enjoyed this rash guard that i got um so that's one of my favorites i wore it almost every single day it helped with like the wind chill and just not being like in a bathing suit all day even though you're on the boat so I love that. So to go along with the rash guard, I also have this straw fedora that I brought. That was great. So I loved that as well. So next is faux locks. So faux locks have actually been one of my new favorite hairstyles. Um, I love them. I've worn them straight pretty much for about three to four months. Um, and I actually get the hair for them off of Amazon. So love it, recommend it. Um, 
they're it's pretty cheap it's like 35 bucks for six packs which i think is a really good price and yeah it comes in two days so you can't beat that and then to go along with that i also recommend these latch hooks that you can use for crochet hair um, i like because they're a little bit more sturdier than the ones that come with the hair so i recommend those two together next is a combo as well it is a water pick and a electric toothbrush so um, the toothbrush that I use is the Philips Sonicare. I started using it a couple months ago and I've really noticed a difference in like how clean my mouth feels. Also it's really helped with lifting the stains that I have on my teeth from like drinking tea and stuff. So I really recommend those two together. Also the water pick is a lifesaver because like everyone, I do not like flossing. Like the dentist is always like, did you floss? And I'm like, mm -mm not really but this water pick has really changed that for me so i love it because it pretty much just shoots like a small jet stream of water in between your teeth so you just run it across your teeth like this and it's pretty much the equivalent of flossing so i love it i literally use it now twice a day which like my dentist has been singing my praises because for years they've been trying to get me to floss daily and it's just not my vibe i just don't really like the act of flossing so this has really changed my oral health in general. So next we have kitchen stuff. So the first thing is an air fryer. Um, I got an air fryer. It was actually like, <laughs> it was actually a gift for my mom for Mother's Day. Um, but because I live at home still, I get to use it as well. And I literally use it at least two to three times a week. I love it. Um, I'm someone that likes things to be fried in the terms of the way it tastes but I don't like actually frying things because hot oil scares me. So um, it allows me to have those types of things like crispy chicken, fried chicken, um, or French fries, or, um, or just make anything that I want a little bit more crispier. Um, and it's super easy, super safe, and it works for me, someone who doesn't love to cook. So I really recommend that. So next we have a water bottle, and this is actually a Hydro Flask dupe. Um, it's 32 ounces, I believe. Um, it's white and it also has a straw lid, which I love. Um, and yeah, so it's way cheaper than a Hydro Flask. So if you're on a budget or even if you just like want to save money, because like, why not get this water bottle? And then lastly, we have miscellaneous stuff. So the first thing is a menstrual cup. So this year I started using a menstrual cup a couple months ago. And it's been a huge game changer when it comes to like my period each month. Um, so yeah, I use the Pixie Cup. I really like it. And my budgeting side loves how I can stop paying for tampons every month and just spend, you know, 20 bucks on a cup that I can use for years. So really recommend using a menstrual cup if you aren't already. Um, it's a great, you know, money saver. You can just buy one cup one time rather than buying tampons for the rest of your life, which is like depressing. So really recommend it. So next I have a wallet and this has kind of become my like in-between wallet. So you know like us girls we have like a bunch of purses and stuff for like different occasions. I feel like I also have a bunch of wallets. So I have like you know the the traditional large like long you know clunky wallet that has a zipper that I feel like everyone has. I'll like put a graphic up so you can see what I'm talking about. I have that but like on the daily I don't really want to carry that around with me all the time because it's just big one and it also has a bunch of stuff that I don't need and if I can bring less stuff out why wouldn't I want to do that so yeah so I found this wallet on Amazon that's like a smaller version of my larger wallet and I really like it because it has a lot of card slots it has zippered parts and it has two snap closes so it's super secure super thin and it fits in your bag super easy and it's kind of become my new go to everyday wallet if i need like my dental and vision card or like a copy of my passport stuff like that that you should like keep a copy of but like you don't technically need it every single day every time you go out so this wallet's been a lifesaver in kind of downsizing my wallet for everyday use next is a pair of blue light glasses and this is actually like a by like a proxy favorite um so i got my mom some blue light glasses that also are reading glasses um and she loves them she wears them all the time and the reason why i bought them for her is that she works um, on a computer all day so she's looking at a screen all day so I wanted the blue light 
you know, features, but she also uses reading glasses a lot. So sorry if the angle changed a little bit, my camera shut off. So my mom loves the blue light glasses, so therefore I really like the blue light glasses and I recommend them for anyone that needs a hybrid between reading glasses and blue light glasses. And then finally we have this smaller personal fan. Um, and I'm someone that when I sleep, I get really, really hot. So I sleep with the fan on me like every single night. Um, but before I had this really big fan that was one, really loud and two, a little bit too strong, if you know what I mean? Like I'd be cold, which isn't really the purpose. I wanted to just not be hot, not to be cold. So this smaller fan is great. It's kind of like that perfect happy medium where it's strong enough, but it's not super powerful and it's not that loud. So really like that. So there we have it, my 2020 Amazon favorites. Let me know down in the comments below what your Amazon favorites are and if we share any favorites. Before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.